Dr. Carvey to 410 East. Dr. Sherry Carvey to 410 East. Mark, hey, I just heard about Julie's arrest. Pretty freaky. I came home and there were cops everywhere. Garcia was dragging off Julie in handcuffs. Oh, that's horrible. I mean, for me, that's nothing. I saw the cops take out my mom and restraints plenty of times. How's Julie? I don't know. I haven't seen her, but Frank says she's okay. And how's Frank taking this? He's climbing the walls, trying to prove that someone set up Julie. Well, I can see how he might think that's the case. I mean, I can't imagine Julie committing all those murders. Well, her father may be okay, but Grace? Jake? Dr. May? Some people just snap. I mean, my mom was like that. One day she'd be fine, the next day she'd be chasing me around with a hammer. How awful. Got used to it. You shouldn't have had to. Lark. Hi. Lark, how are you doing with, well, with everything that's going on? Why do you want to know? So you can analyze my every word and blame me for a bunch of stuff I didn't do? Lark, I offered you counseling, free, after your attempt at suicide, but I never heard back you from you. You didn't hear from me because I'm not interested. I thought you found our sessions helpful. Therapy is a big waste of time. If you ask me, shrinks are the real wackos. I mean, that's why they became shrinks in the first place, to figure out why they're so screwed up. It's not a bad idea. But it's not always the case, either. We're not out to get you, Lark. We're just trying to offer our help. I don't need your help because I didn't do anything wrong. That's what this is about, isn't it? Like mother, like daughter. My mom is crazy, so you figure I must be too. Well, I'm not. Lark, no one ever I said you were. I can't see what you're trying to do. You can't believe Princess Julie could possibly kill anyone, even though there's enough evidence against her that said she did. No, it has to be me, because I'm the one with the screwed up background. You know, if I came from a rich family like Julie's, you'd never accuse me of anything. Dr. Rodriguez, 2715 East. Dr. Roland Rodriguez, 2715 East. Well, from one wacko to another, that is one kid with a big grudge. I really do hate to eat raw, cold marshmallows. There's nothing like a roasted marshmallow, you know, over fire, but, well, I guess the fire is just too much right now. It's kind of hot and stuffy in here still, and I really don't even know how to make a fire. You know, at our lighthouse, when we wanted a romantic fire, Kevin would always make those fires, you know? I'm not even sure how he did it. I mean, I know you need matches. <gasps> um, kindling, um, maybe rolled up newspaper or something. I didn't watch you make that fire over there, and so, <gasps> you made the fire first. Hey. I will give you a half a bag of my Are marshmallows. You just You'll make completely a in love with the sound of your voice? Or is this nonstop chatter for my benefit? If it is, I'll assure you, I can do without. Ask me, Kevin is the one lucky man to be away from you. Oh, don't hold back. Why don't you tell me how you really feel? Oh, well, since you ask, aside from being selfish, lazy, and a big prima donna, you are mean spirited, cruel and vindictive. You do not know anything about me. Oh, I know that a bucket could have hit me on the head and broken my neck. You almost killed Serena with your spiteful tricks, and even that didn't teach you a thing. You are a self-centered, dangerous woman. Lucy Coe, speechless. It must be a first. Well, I will take this moment of silence as a blessing, and I am getting while the getting's good. I can't stand being around you for another minute. And if the roads are washed out, then I will just hike it out of here. It will be worth every step to get away from you. And don't you follow me. Okay. Bad night, I'll bet. It was a nightmare. I can't stand being in this place. Julie. I 
take what you say about being innocent seriously. And I feel a responsibility about these murders because I wrote the book they're based on. And I want to make sure that the right person's put behind bars. I didn't have anything to do with these murders. I want to ask you a few questions. If you're innocent, then you won't have anything to hide. Will answering your questions help me to get out of here? Maybe. Then ask me whatever you want, anything to get out of this hellhole. Okay. Have you ever experienced blackouts? Gaps in time that you can't account for? No, no, I've never had anything like that. Have you ever heard voices? Or ever had an urge to do something that's completely out of character? I don't hear voices. And as for wanting to do something out of character, Sometimes I fantasize about being someone I'm not, like a movie star or something. But I never think about doing anything illegal or anything I consider to be immoral. And I certainly don't fantasize about murdering people. Okay. Thanks for your help. Wait, is that it? It is for now. Wait a minute. What about Lark? Did you find out where she was when you got the call from the attacker? She's the one who should be behind bars, not me. She's the murderer. Detective Garcia, Frank Scanlon, I found something that will clear Julie. She asked me to search through Lark's hospital locker for anything that might, might prove that Lark set Julie up, and I found something you need to see. It's a receipt with Lark's name on it. It's for a voice activator. The life. Mm. I'm happy as a little clown. Hmm. I wonder if that crabby old Ellen Burgess is half as happy as I am, wherever she is. Mm. <laughs> oh, ankle. Damn it. <laughs> Measly bag of marshmallows. Of course, I gotta cut back and at least save some ration. Ration. Oh, Ellen, why did you take those berries and nuts? Oh, never mind. I wouldn't have eaten them anyway. There's got to be something, something. Ah! Oh! Baking chocolate? Oh, boy. Well, if you can bake with it, I bet you I can eat it. Oh, yum. Yum, 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 yum. like a rock. I think I broke my tooth. No wonder that bear ate my cellular phone instead. Oh! This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. be complete without a broken ankle. Oh. Is anyone up there? Help! Oh, my God. The underground spring is rising. Okay, I gotta think of something to do. I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, I 
wish Doc was here. And I wish he wasn't so angry at me. You know, if he was here, there wouldn't be anything else for him to do, so he'd have to forgive me. Don't go there. Don't go there. Okay. Checkers! Or cards or dominoes. Solitaire, how appropriate. We need air. That's it. Just move. That's what we need. We need to just get some air. Deep breaths. I love this fresh, fresh mountain air. What in the world is that? Oh, boy. Okay. I know you're not supposed to follow any sounds. That's what they tell you in the movies. Don't go there, but... I'm gonna go. I'm going. Okay, watch it. Step, 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 Serena. Step. What? Well, you... I thought you were gonna be back in another week or so from your, your trip. Yeah, oh, we we surprised you. What, have you been throwing wild parties? What's yeah, that? that's the main party girl. Yep, there we go. So, uh, hi, sis. How are you doing? I'm okay. You're okay? You don't seem okay. Didn't you catch any fish? No. Not even a little nibble rack. No, none of those stupid fish would stay on my hook. I'm the only one who didn't catch anything. I can't do anything anymore. Oh, wait a minute now, Serena. We talked about this up in Canada. There's a lot of things you can do. Remember the nurse's ball? Remember that song you learned and how much you had to practice it until it was perfect? I did, didn't I? You did. You practice and practice, and that's what you got to do with new things. Until you learn how to do it right, that's all. And you were fantastic at the nurse's ball. You were great, right? That's right, that's right. I, I wasn't too bad either. No. You know, th it also applies to, uh, you know, the ballet, too. For example, you know, you practice and practice, and before you know it, you're doing those uh, pas You mean pas de Isn't that what I just said? No. no. Wow. Whatever, you know, when you practice, you were you were doing them just like Barishnikov. That's because I could see where I was going. I don't want to talk anymore. I'm tired. Daddy, I want to go up to my room. Carry me. Oh, okay, you know, it's been a long day and your bed is up there waiting for you to come on, jump up like a little monkey. Okay. Good night, guys. Night. Whatever you are, I come in peace. I come in peace. You hear me? Ow! Okay. All right, that's it. I have had just about enough of this. Good grief. <sighs> Lucy! Uh, Lucy, is that you? Where are you? Is, is this some kind of sick joke? Come on. Lucy, I'm down here. Help me! What are you doing down there? The flight to Tahiti was all booked up. I figured this was a lovely place. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to have to question your sense of adventure, you know. Well, I sat down because I was tired, and I ended up in here. Well, are you hurt? Well, I think I broke my ankle. Okay. Okay, listen, stay calm. Don't worry. I, I, I'll get you out of there. I, I'm, I'm going to call for help, okay? I... Oh, no, my cell phone. The bear ate my cell phone in two. Ellen, listen to me. Where is your phone? I will go get it. I lost it when I fell. It's underwater somewhere. OK, that's OK. Listen, I, I'm just going to have to go for help. You hang on. I'm going to go for help. No! The water in the well is rising. I think it's an underground spring. And my feet are starting to go numb. Lucy? You have to get me out of here before I drown. <laughs> <laughs> 